Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you, as I always say, for everything you do, from hitting that like button to subscribing to hitting the bell. It's it's unbelievable. It's been so much fun. And when you do all those things, it does something to the YouTube algorithm so that people will see the reading who are looking for it. So I know they appreciate it too. And we'll keep going here. If you are new to the channel, welcome to you. If you're not new, you can scroll past this intro. I'm sure it gets old after a while. But I do want new people to know I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are different every week. So there's a pick a card reading. There's a love reading. It's also Mondays are also when I do a more in-depth Celtic cross reading. So there's something every couple of days. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Taurus need to know, please? Okay. All right, so we'll begin here with the tarot and then we'll have an Angel Answers Oracle card reading here too. All right, so we've got here the High Priestess, the Six of Swords, Justice, the Emperor, the Ace of Wands, the King of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Seven of Swords. Well, listen, I got this. I have to tell you, if you're doing some kind of negotiation, like if you're trying to buy something, something with a anything with a contract with that King of Swords, Emperor Justice, things will go in your favor, but there might be some shrewd negotiating happening here. I definitely feel like, too, anything that you're doing, it's wise to do it in writing. You know, if it's a, a conversation, uh, you know, following it up with an email or getting something, because with that Seven of Swords, it may not be somebody who's intentionally trying to like hurt you, but they might be very scattered and they might not be good by their word. Okay. Like it's like that kind of thing where they don't seem to remember conversations. And that may be for a few of you, a select few. If it's something at work too, though, again, it's like you want stuff in writing. I do feel though, you've got a really solid reading here with um, three four major arcana. I almost said four and then I changed to three. I don't know why. Three major, four major arcana, dear Lord, and an ace. So I do feel like that's going to be important here. You do have quite a bit of air here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and of course you've got Libra and the Justice card. Um, and you've got Aries here too. So if it's one of those signs, you've got all the fixed signs too though with the Wheel of Fortune. So the High Priestess is one of these very layered cards deep spirituality but a knowing it is the card of the psychic so again if you if you feel like you know something is going to happen this is what we do isn't it the damn mind tells us oh no no no, that's not right and it is right and then it happens and you go oh my god i knew it um for some of you if you have a question about a relationship here or if you've had some kind of a breakup or something i do feel like this person's going to come back with an apology. It may be a chance encounter, though. It might be like you meet, you see them out in public. You're not trying to, but the energy is right, especially if you have been doing things saying, you know, you're manifesting this, you're manifesting, whether it's a complete reconciliation or you just feel like there's unfinished emotional business, but you want to talk to the person without contacting them. Through this energy, you are contacting them. Whether you realize it or not, you are energetically connected with someone here. Um, now, if it's not a full-on breakup and it's just some something has happened in a relationship, again, I do see it you work, working it out, whatever that is for you. Um, but with this, it's high vibrational. This is very high vibrational card. All the waves in her robe. She also holds that book of Torah, the laws of the universe on her lap. So for some of you, you may be doing things with your own spirituality and really understanding it. And you might be getting into some pretty esoteric concepts, but I do feel like for whoever it is, you're ready for it. You, the universe will communicate with you on a level that you're ready to receive. And so even with channels, whether it's like mine or somebody else's, you'll find the information that you can understand. There's some people that probably 
listen to a lot of the spiritual parts of what I say and they it's not for them and that's okay. They do better with somebody who just throws down cards and says the money's coming. You know, that's the kind of channel for them. But for you, you understand that you're a divine being. You've got more um, ascension going on there. So with the Six of Swords, you are moving forward here. Um, and the Six of Swords, I feel like it doesn't always get full measure. It is a positive card. It's all about harmonizing something that was not in balance, something that was stressful stressful for you and getting that better managed and moving forward. This can be a card of travel too. You have that a couple of times. So again, if you're doing any travel arrangements, make sure you're getting stuff in writing and make sure you understand if there's trip insurance or travel insurance, understanding exactly what it covers. I feel like you have something here where you have to be very thorough and detailed but again, it goes in your favor. So it's not just being paranoid. It's getting things organized and taken care of. Because then, especially if it's travel related or if you're moving, you can relax. You know, you're not going to have to worry about um, some problem later down the line with this. So with justice, you may find that you end up putting your foot down with somebody too with that seven of swords. But you can do it in a very diplomatic way with this energy. You got to be careful, though, with the Emperor and the King of Swords because they're not really that much into diplomacy. They're more of banging their fist on the table and saying, do it. So uh, with this, though, I do feel like you may be able to utilize anything if it's in emails or something like that to your advantage so that it doesn't become some kind of a point counterpoint, point counterpoint thing where you're back and forth in an exchange this is, though, with the, um, you have this a couple of times. You have it with the emperor, too. The the columns here represent wisdom and knowledge, and that upright sword represents a successful conclusion. Now, the emperor's throne also, you'll notice, is also in that gray matter. That's a color of protection. That, that throne represents protection. But then you have, you know, you've got this cycle where events move in your favor. So, again, I do feel like it's positive. But it may be this energy of having to be kind of like, in a way, kind of like an attorney. Like somebody here, I feel like they say you feel like you were an attorney in something where you were just collecting a lot of information. Now, in terms of a, a relationship, too, if there is some kind of a divorce going on here, if that is because you do have a couple cards that can represent attorneys in an actual legal situation. Um, I do feel like you get on good terms with a person, but there may be something that again, that comes forward a new opportunity with the Ace of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, a new person involved if you're letting go of somebody and it really is a divorce kind of a deal. So the Emperor is the father of the tarot. He's also the architect of the universe. And so with the Emperor, it's a card of prominence, of really being confident, strong, but getting your own way. The emperor does not lose. The emperor leads the charge, leads the battle. And it's a card of uh, measurement though too. And that's where I feel like there's something about that that keeps coming through about being very, I hear the word calculated, but I, it's not like you're trying to do anything cunning to anyone. And I don't think they're doing it to you either. Again, I think it's somebody absent-minded in the mix. Um, but with this, it also is about playing by the rules. And so in a relationship too, if you're if you're leaving someone else, like if you if you're the person that has the divorce going on here, I do feel like it it ends amicably, but the next person that comes in, maybe somebody if if what was going on is the other person wasn't always true to their word or there was something like that, the next person may be very much different from that. Because this is like somebody who has a lot of integrity. Um, even though he does like to get his own way, he does it the right way. He doesn't do it in an underhanded way at all. So with the Ace of Wands, this is something you've always wanted. I, again, you got a positive outcome here. It's waving your magic wand. It's having things come through that you've always wanted. And it's also having passion about your life. Having new elements show up. This is a new chapter, new beginning. And having those things that come in that really make you feel inspired. You'd have inspired action in this Ace of Wands. So if there's something, again, with work-related stuff, I feel like you get through whatever the tediousness is here, and you get into something, especially with that Wheel of Fortune, that feels a heck of a lot more fun. So the King of Swords, too. This is the one we talk about with the Emperor. you got to be a little careful in the communication because the King of Swords is um, can be rather harsh. 
Swords in general are about the truth, though. So I feel like with the Justice, this and the Emperor, the truth is definitely here. That Seven of Swords does not stand a chance with those three, not at all. Um, but I do feel like with this, it can be a little aggressive. So just be, and irritable. So we got to be a little careful with that one. But with the Wheel of Fortune, I, I feel like once you gain momentum here, everything goes forward in a rush. So if it is a trip you're planning too, you get things taken care of, all the details squared away, and you move forward in this beautiful energy. This is the kind of energy that's almost like being swept away. It's fun. It is open. It's, you know, this this wheel represents a portal into the divine. So it's a, in, in a way, it's got a calming effect. It's a new phase where it seems like everything's in sync. Everything is clicking in this new phase. So it moves you forward in a place where too, where all this sort of harsh energy that's around you, a very much a get things done kind of energy, this gets brings in some of that a little softer energy. So it's fun, it moves forward. I mentioned before, it may be a chance encounter too with somebody, either meeting somebody new or like we said, if it is a reconciliation kind of a thing or you have unfinished business is probably the better word for that or better phrase. So the Seven of Swords, we've talked about this a bit. I do feel like there's somebody around you who's just very scattered. So what they say is not trustworthy, but it's not supposed to be malicious. This is not some narcissist. It's just somebody who kind of talks out of both sides of their mouth. So again, if you're dealing with somebody who's like this, I would be ensure that you get things in writing, right? So you can make sure that you don't end up getting the short end of things out of them. So let's see here, Taurus, what the angels have to say for you. It's one of those real world readings, but we do like all these major arcana. They're, they're the trump of the tarot. So we definitely, when we have something like a, a minor arcana and you have four trump cards, it, it really is, it's got a minimal impact. And it will build you up too. It'll build up your you know, your confidence and maybe one of those stories you, you tell for a while. Golden opportunity here. So this can be represented or uh, connected to the Ace of Wands Wheel of Fortune, where there's something unexpected that happens that really turns your energy in a positive way. If you believe, okay, we see, see that one quite a bit. Big happy changes. I've been seeing that lately more and more too within the next few weeks. So something here is coming to a resolution and it is in your favor. They say don't stop. So good things are on the way for you, Taurus. I love you and I'll be back again soon.